Okay, so in this video, I am going to introduce you to Clicky and how you can go ahead and register for an account with them. So Clicky is an alternative to Google Analytics. And in my mind, it is so much more straightforward to set up and also for you to actually get really insightful access to the analytics once you've got it implemented on your website. It's going to show you things like um, the visitors to your website, the actions they're taking on your website, how long they're spending on your on your site, which pages they're visiting, which pages they're leaving. So it gives you so much information and you can get it set up for free. It is what we call a freemium software, which means that um, you can use the free version, but if you want to use the enhanced features, then you can go ahead and um, upgrade. It's really, it's gonna cost you pennies per day to be using it and the insights that you're gonna get on the free, on the premium version, it gives you a lot more information for you to be making informed decisions about what actions people are taking on your website and how you can inform your online marketing going forwards. So yes, you can get started with the free one. It's perfectly adequate. And if you're just getting started, it's fine. But if you're wanting more in-depth analysis of what people are doing on your website, then I would definitely recommend that you um, go for the first stage upgrade. And like I say, it literally costs you pennies per day. I think it's $9 a month for you to upgrade. So when you land on the Clicky homepage, you're literally just gonna click on the big red button that says register now. So once you um, get into here, you, there's just some forms to fill out. So you're gonna add your real name and I'm gonna use a different email address because I already have a Clicky account. And, um, and so I just need to put it through under different details. So go ahead and add a username. So I'm just gonna add a username and a password, which needs to be between, between six and 32 characters. And it needs to be different from your username or your email address. So I'm just going to add a password in here. I'm gonna to agree to the terms and conditions and let them know that I'm not a robot. So once I've got that, I can go ahead and click on register and then I'm gonna add in my domain name. So when you add your domain name here, you don't need the full URL, you literally just need the actual domain name. So I'm going to add in um, a website that I have got and I'm gonna click on submit. And then it's going to give me some of the information and it's also gonna ask for some more. So the um, account language that I want is gonna be English. Um, I'm going to... Um, specify the, the time format so you can choose whether you want it to be AM, PM or whether you want it to be the 24 hour clock. I'm gonna stick with this, um, but it's just a point of preference. Do put it in your own time zone because that means that when you are reading the analytics, you're seeing what time people are visiting your site in your time zone. Um, so it makes a lot of sense to do that. So um, uh, we can put automatic daylight savings and then with the website alignment, let it know. You're just gonna tell it whether the website is centered or whether you've got it left aligned. It's a little bit archaic. This we used to do kind of left aligned sites. Now that sites are responsive, it's not so relevant. Um, and also the same with the site width. So you can just cl uh, click onto responsive at the bottom here. Um, and definitely enable your, um, your on-site analytics. And I'm just gonna put bottom right. And then you can have a look at the advanced settings if you want to, but there's nothing here that you actually need to go ahead and, um, and set in here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just click on submit. And then we have got some tracking code that we can go ahead and add to our website. So I'm just gonna pause this video and I'm gonna move over to my website so I can show you where you can go ahead and add this. So once you have logged into the WordPress area of your website, you're gonna come over here and you are going to go ahead and install a plugin. There is a clicky plugin. So you're gonna click on add new and over here, you're gonna search for Clicky. And it's gonna bring up a few. So it's got Clicky by Yoast, it's got Clicky Analytics. I'm using the Clicky Analytics. I have heard people using the Clicky by Yoast and that's fine too. But I'm gonna go ahead, click on install. And once it's installed, I'm gonna activate it. So click on activate. And now we're gonna see it 
over here in my install plugins. So I'm gonna go over to the settings because now what we need to do is we need to connect our Clicky account to the website through the plugin. So what we need here is the site ID and the site key and all of the other stuff, we can pretty much leave it exactly as it is. So I'm gonna hop back over to Clicky and I've taken it back to the homepage so that if you're just logging in, you can see exactly where you're gonna find um, everything that you need. So from the home area, you're gonna to come to preferences. So I'm gonna click into preferences here and you can see that we've got the site ID and the site key. So I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna go back to my Clicky Analytics. I'm gonna click into my site ID and um, then I'm gonna click onto my site key. Now, you don't really wanna be sharing these with everybody, but I can go ahead and reset them after this. Um, so once that's done, you can then save your changes and what you'll see now is you've got Clicky Analytics here um, that you can come back and you can make any changes to that when you need to. But when you now log in to WordPress, once it's um, created some data, then you're gonna be able to see Clicky Analytics here. Now, obviously we've only just added this, so there's no data yet. But when you have some data from here, you're gonna see all of this information here at a glance on your website or you can always just come over into um, Clicky here and you can get more information from here. So I'll do another video at some point in time that um, digs into the analytics that you should be looking for and what you can actually see um, if you are on a premium version of Clicky. But for the time being, this is a great way to just get you up and running with a really nice user interface in terms of understanding your data at a glance, which for a lot of people is what I hear that they really, really struggle with with Google Analytics, even if they manage to install it, because sometimes even setting up the Google Analytics property can create a little bit of a barrier to people getting started. Um, but even once they've got it, they just find that there's too much information in there. It is enterprise level information with Google Analytics. It's absolutely fabulous, the amount of stuff that you can dig into in there, but it's overkill for a lot of people who are just wanting top line analytics and Clicky does give you a huge amount of information that you're going to really be able to drive your marketing strategy forwards with but it's just laid out in a way that's much easier for most people to actually get their heads around. So that's how you can go ahead and get started with Clicky. I hope you love it. I'm really loving it and I just think it's going to be um, a much easier step for people to start using analytics more than they already do because I know that for a lot of people, even once they've got Google Analytics connected, they simply don't log in and use it because the information seems too overwhelming. So go ahead, get started with it and let me know how you get on.